In today's video, I'm going to be giving you four tips on how to grow healthy bananas. Tip number one, fertilization. A lot of people think that you actually don't need to feed or fertilize your banana plant. And in reality, this is true. You can just plant your banana, let it go, it will produce a rack of bananas. But if you want a really healthy rack of bananas, you want a really healthy plant that's going to resist disease, then you need to feed it. What we do is about every six months, we do a top dressing of compost and our NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. In the early stages of banana growth, you want to go heavier on your nitrogen, and once you see your rack of banana actually forming, then you want to start going heavier on your potassium and phosphorus. Phosphorus helps with the fruiting of the plant. Um, it's really important to do this on a regular schedule. And then we also do monthly or bi-monthly, we do a nice NPK foliar spray. Of course, we're always using organic. Here on the farm, we make our own fertilizers, but buy yourself some nice organic fertilizers and do a nice foliar spray once a month, once every other month. And this is really gonna help with the health of your banana. Tip number two, leaf cleaning. Your banana trees are constantly gonna be producing brown leaves. Um, there's two reasons why this happened. One is it's a natural process, you know, as the leaves continue to grow from the center, the older leaves start to die off and fall away. We want to keep these cleaned off the plant. Obviously, the more clean we keep the plant, the more energy it's going to have to give to where we want it to go, which is our fruit. The other reason you're going to get browning in the leaf is from some type of disease. Um, one of the most common ones is called cigatoka, and what happens is your leaves start browning from the tip in. They turn a brownish yellow color. Anytime this disease is present in your banana plant, it really affects the energy output and really sucks a lot of the energy away from the plant and it's not going into your fruit production. What we want to do though, it's really important to keep our leaves as much intact as we can because the leaves are our, our solar arrays, right? They're collecting the sun's energy, they're turning that energy into the, through the plant and they're creating our beautiful big rack of bananas. So anytime we see the tip of the leaf starting to brown and yellow from the cigatoka, we want to come along and we just want to clean the tip, just the part that's brown, and leave all the green part of the leaf intact. And you're going to, you're going to cut it right along the stem. And if you just get a nice sharp um, blade on the end of a stick, you hit that stem, the tip of the leaf will come right off. Tip number three, removal of baby banana plants. Once you plant a banana, your clump is going to continue to grow and expand and it's going to continuously put off babies. These are called ejos here in Costa Rica. The thing that we want to keep in mind is we want to keep three healthy banana trees per clump, right? So one good way to remember it is son, father, grandfather, okay? And so anytime you see your fourth ejo or baby coming up, you want to remove that. What that's going to do, again, is your banana plant only has so much energy to put out, right? So if you start having too much competition between too many banana plants in one clump, you're not going to get big healthy racks. So when you see your fourth banana emerging, you come in there, and what you want to do is come on the inside closest to the clump, and you want it with a, a nice sharp shovel, and you just kind of cut in a down motion like you're going to dig it out, and you cut that, come underneath it, and just pop it out, okay? Now it doesn't matter if you cut the, the little roots that are growing on that. You can actually remove those roots before replanting that banana in another location. You want to dig that out, you clean it up, clean up the base, replant it in another spot, and you're going to have a whole other banana plant. Tip number four, removing banana fingers. So I'm going to explain a little bit about the anatomy of a banana rack. Um, basically, we have a long stem that grows down and all of your what we call hands are growing along that stem. Now a trick we can do in order to really get your bananas to plump out and get more weight on them is we can go down to the very bottom hand on that stem and what we're going to do is we're going to remove all the fingers. The fingers are the bananas. We're going to remove all the fingers except for one finger. What that's going to do is it's going to take all that energy and send that up the stem and into all those other hands on it and you're gonna end up with much more weight and quality for your bananas. A um, Couple tips on how to know when to do that. Basically what you wanna look for, if you start observing, your bananas are gonna start off really curled. At some point in their life cycle, they start to straighten out. 
we want to cut those fingers before that straightening happens. Um, another way to do it is when your bananas are growing, they're growing, the hands are continuously growing along the stem. When that final hand grows, the stem itself is just going to continue to elongate below that. Once you see that happen, so you see your final hand come out, about three weeks after that is the perfect time to cut those fingers. Thanks again everyone for supporting us. Thanks for helping us spread permaculture across the planet. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends, and we'll see you again soon.